morning beautiful people how are you doing i hope you're doing well today i've got a very special video for you guys because it's my sister's civil wedding i don't know <clears throat> i don't know if you call it like that in english but yeah so uh, we will be we will be celebrating her official wedding today and i have to get ready it's really early <clears throat> as you can see i didn't talk much I uh, just wanted to let you know guys, this is my hair, you wanted an update on the GK um, treatment, the best treatment. This is my hair, just hair drying it with a brush. This is how it looks like. I mean, I take my time to hair dry it, I will not just, you know, hair dry it like this. I do take a brush and I hair dry it. And this is how it looks like. And then sometimes, uh, I think I did it yesterday, sometimes I will just go uh, on my ends with the, my flat iron, but just a little bit. Most of the time it's already uh, flat, but just to round it because I don't like them to be, you know, flat like that. That's it. And this is how it looks like. Of course, I have my roots because my hair does go up um, relatively fast so i have my white hair as you can see i don't know if you're able to see them mm. you see so yeah those they don't have the product and yeah so i did struggle to find something to wear so, by the way i'm wearing my, uh, my aligner so i do struggle to talk a little bit so bear with me please uh i did struggle to find my outfit but i will be showing you i did find a very cute outfit for a uh, civil wedding winter situation uh edition because i um like i know my sister i know she would be wearing something elegant and simple and chic and i didn't want to wear like her something that will outstand more than her it's her day she has to be the star of the show with her uh, husband of course so that's why and i did manage to find something cute i'll be showing you and i'll be linking everything in the description section as i always do and yes yeah, so i've done my nails yesterday i've done this beautiful color very full kind of color i love that anyway <laughs> let's get started Just curl it as much as you can and take it, take everything there. The other half is done. Look at how shiny it is. I'm so happy, it's so easy to do. Can't complain. Maybe I will try the GK curly version the next time once the, the whole thing is, I think is gone. I don't know how it works. I have to check that out. But I like it. For the moment, I like it. I like to put just a little bit of concealer. I don't like too much. And then I build, I will build up as much as I need. I have ordered some skincare from some Korean brands and some other brands that I'm waiting for. Very basic skincare. Actually, I took the time to check all the ingredients uh, to see what was the problem because what I was doing is I was like just trusting people when someone would say yeah this is good and then I realized even dermatologists on, on social media they will not be honest with you and they will try like I don't know if they try to sell you they win something with it like they gain in something or just because some other people they said it's, it's nice they will say it's nice i don't know but i think it's kind of bad to do that because people like me was trusting them they say like they are dermatologists they know what they're saying they know what they're doing and no actually <laughs> because when i checked all the ingredients and i'm not talking about ingredients that for example i i know some people they're not they don't have problems which are butter some people they don't have problems with coconut oil and stuff like that which is good i'm not talking about this kind of ingredients i'm talking about um like bad alcohol alcohols bad essential oils that you're not supposed to have on your skincare for your face when you are acne prone skin um you know stuff like that so when you're doing a product for acne prone skin 
like at least respect the minimum thing for me or don't say it's for acne prone skin just like that because i realized a lot of brands they're just lying they're selling you stuff that is not suitable for your kind of skin you know so i did have to check everything and the other thing that i realized i um like my skin doesn't like it's uh, niacinamide i think is the name in english my skin hates it i just hate it i don't know why i tried many times i tried i hate it so maybe i have to um rebuild my skin barrier make it um you know better <laughs> this will look crazy because it's not my skin color at all but we will work it i said yeah so i will put bronzer on top don't don't get scared <laughs> i just want to you know hide it a little bit so i will not show up i think i made it worst um yeah so that's what i realized and right now i'm just trying to check every single thing i don't put on top of my eyes because i feel like i already have dark circles and i can use them uh like you know like i did put some eyeshadow when i didn't <laughs> I look like a ghost, but just trust the process, okay? So always, always, always check what you're putting on your face, on your body, whatever. Now I've got this uh, W700 Lumo. By the way, I know my makeup is not for acne prone skin, but for the moment I'm using this until I uh, get into makeup and change all my makeup. Since I'm not putting makeup every single day, most of the days I don't do everything I'm showing you right now. This is just because it's a wedding, but most of the time I just uh, like do something very simple and easy. Like just my under eyes and some mascara, some blush, and that's it. And then I'm using the NARS Duo um, bronzer and blush, and now we take the bronzer and i will apply it as well so i will get a little bit of color because you know i'm a little bit tanned still from summer i don't even know how <laughs> you see and the problem is gone and by the way let me know if it's just me or you as well you have this problem my forehead is darker than the rest of my face like I have here, I have a kind of skin, and here I have another kind of skin. And I think it's because uh, at the time when I was in uh, high school, I had a lot of acne just on my forehead. I didn't have anywhere else. Uh, and maybe, like, I mean, most of the spots they're gone, but still got like all of it dark. I don't know. <laughs> and that's it for my makeup. I have used this um, Essence Make Me Brow. Bro, bro, I don't know. Um, you don't expect it to fix your eyebrows, but I like it because sometimes I just put some powder on top of my eyebrows without like wanting to do it. Um, I just brush them with this and they get back the color. And then I have used the um, uh, Essence Lash Princess waterproof one, but it's dry. I used just use this to separate my eyelashes and then I used a uh, first coat of the double trouble mascara on extra black I need a very black mascara because I have a very black hair uh, I will let it dry a little bit and then I will put a second coat I didn't want to put some false lashes just in the corners but it's so windy these days so I'm not risking it you know <laughs> so that's it. that's it for my makeup i will put a second coat later but right now i'll just go eat something really fast and get my outfit ready and then show you this is the outfit uh this is a coat that i had it's from from asus if i remember well yes uh this is a bag i got from zara uh it retails for 19.95 
it's a basic i didn't find any other bag in that color and i needed that color to go with the coat this is a beautiful uh, top i really like the fact that it's shiny but not too much and i've got a size small because I, I wanted it to be a little bit oversized and i've got it for 22.95 really affordable this time i'm really happy and then i've got a skirt that i will show you how it looks like and i think it was 19.95 but i had to size up so i could feel comfortable and then i will be i'll be wearing some boots that i've got because it rains a little bit like most of the time so i'll be wearing boots and i've got them from zara but it's from an old collection uh so yeah let me show you how it looks like the final look as i told you just keep in mind that you're supposed to be wearing high heels but as i told you my ankle did hurt so i cannot wear high heels i had to adapt everything to the boots and yeah so this is the final look let me know what do you think guys i'll be linking everything on the description section down below these are my curls open this is how they look like open and that's it so i'll be showing you the wedding date little outfit <laughs> Chaque 10 minutes. Hein? Tu fais un vlog? Oui. Le vlog. Vas-y, viens voir. Je vais témoigner. Je vais témoigner moi aussi. Bonjour. Bonjour. Aquí estamos las hermanas. Para. 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 Est-ce que vous consentez à la prendre pour épouse Oui, je veux. D'accord Et de votre côté, Abir, est-ce que vous consentez Ah bah attendez <rire> Est-ce que vous consentez à prendre Benjamin pour épouse Oui. Eh bien, au nom de la loi et des pouvoirs qui me sont conférés, je vous déclare unis par les liens du mariage. Et on peut les féliciter. Oui C'est comme un trésor, tu mets du temps à le chercher. Non, il a changé de voiture quand même. Vous allez sur la table et mettez les verres en petit pour que tu aies verres là. Il est arrivé à une seule comida. Ouais, c'est une seule comida. Ça va, 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 ça I hope you like this vlog. I tried to show you a little bit my family and how we do things. Um, I hope to see you in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I will try to do small vlogs like this and show you my everyday day. <laughs> my everyday. So I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope to see you in my next video and until then. Bye.